Item Number SCP-2403 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures The East Stairwell Research Site 45, between the first and third floors, is to be closed to personnel indefinitely. Access to the second floor landing will be blocked with reinforced concrete with a steel blast door on the first floor landing to be locked at all times. Testing on SCP-2403 has been suspended until further notice. SCP-2403 is a phenomenon currently isolated within the East Stairwell of Research Site-45, between the last step of the stair flight of the second floor and the second floor landing. Whenever a sentient bipedal being descends the stairwell and crosses over the last step of the second floor, they will be instantly transported to another location in space-time. In all cases, the locations are observed to be mainly areas of high altitude, with abrupt vertical cliff faces. Any subject transported by SCP-2403 will be positioned to step and fall off these cliff faces, regardless of any foreknowledge of the phenomenon. Subjects will experience freefall at a normal rate during this phase. Before making contact with the ground, subjects will be instantly transported onto the second floor landing. Subjects will experience a slight time dilation effect, as the time at the point origin from where they disappear and reappear is nearly instantaneous. However, subjects will experience the full duration of the freefall and retain a memory of the event. No other physical objects or properties have been seen to return with the subjects such as rainwater, if applicable, dust particulate, gas trapped in the subject's lung, subject's inertia, or subject's momentum. Testing has proven that there is a correlation between stairs traveled in a single stride with locations, although the precision of these results is currently inconclusive. Experiment 4441-1-1 Subject D-9679 Procedure Subject is asked to descend SCP-2403 at a normal pace while wearing a portable video recorder. Observation Subject descends the last step normally. Upon making contact with the landing, the subject starts screaming in a panic state. Subject remains in a panic state for five seconds before appearing disoriented, and then stumbling towards the adjacent wall while breathing heavily. Video Analysis Video captured a full 5.5 seconds of freefall footage, with the subject screaming for the entire duration. After stabilization of the video was applied, the location was confirmed to be a bridge, possibly in the western United States. Bridge is positioned over a gorge, estimated to be 350 meters in depth. Based on a structural analysis of the bridge, it is thought to have been built within the last 30 years. Experiment 4441-1-3 Subject D-8755 Procedure Subject is asked to descend SCP-2403 at a normal pace while wearing a portable video recorder. Subject is also instructed to jump over the last step and onto the landing. Observation Subject ascends and makes the jump over the last step. Upon making contact with the landing, the subject collapses in an unconscious state. Subject is treated in the infirmary for sudden cardiac arrest and revived. During the debriefing, subject has no detailed memory of the event other than the sensation of falling. Video Analysis Video captured a full 18.9 seconds of freefall footage, with the subject believed to be only conscious for the first 5.8 seconds. Analysis of the video was able to identify several important landmarks that were able to confirm the location as the Stor Trolltind, which is Europe's highest cliff. Date at the location was unable to be determined. Experiment 4441-1-7 Subject D-1145 Procedure Subject is asked to descend SCP-2403 at a normal pace, while wearing a portable video recorder. Subject is also instructed to jump over the last three steps and onto the landing. Observation. 
subject descends and makes the jump over the last three steps. Upon making contact with the landing, the subject's body, now dead, collapses. An autopsy performed shows the cause of death to be sudden depressurization, as most of the organs and skin tissues were ruptured. Video Analysis Video captured a full 1.1 minutes of free-fall footage, with the subject believed to be alive for an estimated 10 seconds. Analysis of the video was unable to confirm a terrestrial location. Further video analysis, in conjunction with the autopsy report, posited the location to be on the planet Mars, possibly along the high cliffs surrounding the Echis Chasma crater. Confirmation is pending, following further review of this data. Experiment 4441-1-10 Subject D5984 Procedure Subject is asked to descend SCP-2403 at a normal pace while wearing a portable video recorder and a NASA Z-1 spacesuit. Video recorder has been upgraded to be able to function in hostile environmental conditions. Subject is also instructed to jump over the last half of the flight and onto the landing. Observation. Subject descends and makes the jump from halfway down the flight. Upon making contact with the landing, the subject's body shatters inside the suit. The remains of the subject were observed to be frozen solid, and the suit appears to have been torn along the right leg. Video recorder unit was damaged, but intact. Video analysis. Video captured a full 12.2 minutes of freefall footage. After 5.1 minutes of freefall, the subject experiences a hard impact against the wall, rupturing the suit. Death occurred 23 seconds after this event. Analysis of the video showed a low-gravity environment in extreme cold conditions. Footage also reveals the entire surface to be solid ice. Comparing certain sections of footage looking up at the sky with known star charts, it is determined that the location is located outside of the known local solar system. Experiment 4441-1-11 Subject D-2469 Procedure Subject is wearing a portable video recorder and a NASA Z-1 spacesuit. Video recorder has been upgraded to be able to function in hostile environmental conditions. Subject is instructed to jump over the flight of stairs and onto the landing below. Observation. Subject makes his hesitations known to the researchers and security present. Subject is assured that any injury sustained from the fall will be treated in the infirmary. Subject continues to be uncooperative. The security team present then convinced the subject to participate. Subject makes a running start on the landing above and jumps to the landing below, successfully clearing the entire flight. Subject disappeared right before making contact with the bottom landing. No sign of the subject or the video recorder unit exiting was observed. Video Analysis Inconclusive pending retrieval of the video recorder unit. However, an adjacent lab detected a burst of beta radiation on site at the exact time the test was conducted. Data has been logged for further review.